Now it's time for the Hardball Sideshow. Things I didn't know when I got up this morning that I could forget by the time I go to bed. Dems the Sideshow rules these days. Anyway, we've seen and heard a lot about Dick Cheney since he left office, you think? But not so much from his boss, or at least that guy who had the higher title all those eight long years. Well, last night, former President George Bush the Younger made his debut as a motivational speaker. I'm serious about this, although I think it has to be a Halloween prank, you know, like toilet papering somebody's house. Motivational speaker, George W. Bush. Now, you might ask yourself, what kind of advice could George Bush give to motivate anybody? This is the man who got this country into two wars that feel like Chinese handcuffs right now. He brought our economy to the brink of a second Great Depression. And thought it was a good idea to torture our enemies. In fact, the only thing former President George W. Bush ever did to motivate people was to get them to vote for Barack Obama. Come to think of it, that may well be the reason he goes down in history. Seriously. Anyway, attention baseball fans now. The World Series between the New York Yankees and the Phillies starts tomorrow night, and the political bets are already on the table. Oh my, are these people fascinating. New York Senators Schumer and Gillenbrand, or Gillenbrand are betting Brooklyn cheesecakes, probably from Juniors on Flatbush Avenue, against Pennsylvania Senators Casey and Specter's Philly cheese steaks, either from Pat's or Gino's. Anyway, but please, can't these politicians or their press secretaries who have the jobs of cooking up this crap come up with something a little more original than these bets? Next, is the loud mouth of the House of Representatives getting a little too lewd? First, he declared on the floor of the House the Republicans wanted sick people to die. Well, quickly. Last week on Hardball, he called Dick Cheney a vampire. Now, Florida Congressman Alan Grayson is catching help from Democrats and Republicans alike for calling a female advisor to Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke a K Street whore on a radio show last month. Well, a spokesman for Grayson's office told us they were not doing any on-camera interviews today, but sent us this comment. I love this comment. This is from the press secretary. Let's be clear about the context. The attack was on her professional career, not her personal life. <laughs> that makes it okay?